What's up guys, it's Kristen, here today to do the 25 bookish facts tag. Now I was tagged by my very good friends Joss from Schools Reads and Brittany from Under the Radar Books and I've been meaning to do this for a while now and then recently it just hit a thousand subscribers and that number is just like completely mind-boggling to me and I cannot say how much I appreciate everybody who watches and comments on my videos and all of the amazing friends that I have made through booktube who I talk to on a daily basis. I just never expected that going into this and I'm just so incredibly grateful so I thought I would tell you a little bit more about myself. So first we'll start off with the favorites questions. My favorite book is Secret History by Donna Tartt. My favorite series A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. The book that actually got me into obsessively reading where you know I couldn't go a day without reading a book was actually The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. I had a Twilight poster in my room for two ish years and I'm not apologizing for it. I used to actually work for an airline and I got to travel a lot so anytime I was in a new country or city I would always try to go to a bookstore and one of my favorites that I went to was the Waterstones in Birmingham. That cathedral staircase I cannot get enough of so shout out to anybody who is from Birmingham. But then this little book buying habit of mine backfired when I eventually moved home and my suitcase was just overflowing with books and I could barely even zip it up and then the airline charged me a hundred dollars in oversized luggage fees. It's like I was being punished for being a book nerd. I once randomly took a day trip with my friend to Stratford-upon-Avon as in Shakespeare's birthplace and it ended up being like one of the best days in my memory. It was like taking a step back in time and it was not touristy at all or busy. It was just so beautiful and peaceful. So if you get a chance to go, I highly recommend it. I am completely obsessed with book to movie adaptations. If I hear that a book is being turned into a movie, I will immediately want to read it, even though most of the time they always let me down. But I live for those few movies that just hit it out of the park. My first bad experience though with a book to movie adaptation was actually Charlie and the Chocolate Factory which we read in third grade and I got very excited because in the book the golden ticket tells Charlie to go to the factory on the first day of February which happens to be my birthday so I got so excited for that. And then after we read it we got to watch the movie in class which is obviously like the best day in elementary school and it got to the part where Grandpa Joe was reading out the golden ticket and I was ready. This was my moment. Present this ticket at the factory gates at 10 o'clock in the morning of the first day of October and do not be late. <sighs> why? I was so disappointed. I couldn't understand why they changed my birthday because obviously a little eight-year-old Kristen didn't understand filming schedules and I didn't care about anything else that they changed in the movie, just that they moved my birthday. But this is still obviously one of my favorite movies of all time, the 1970s version, of course. I have such a horrible obsession with cover designs to the point where I will not buy a book if I don't like the design. I will just get it from the library or get an e-reader. One thing I feel like I never really talk about on this channel is how much I love the Moreland Instruments and the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. I read them a few years ago and literally binged through every book that was out at the time in like a few weeks. And now that new Shadowhunters TV show is out, which I have such a complicated relationship with it because it started off just purely as a hate watch to see how bad it could get, but now I find I am genuinely excited every week to watch the new episode. I am currently reading this mammoth Lawrence in Arabia, War, Deceit, Imperial Folly, and the Making of the Modern Middle East by Scott Anderson. And this is a nonfiction book about the Middle East during World War One, and history and politics are kind of my jam, so I am really enjoying it so far. My favorite genres are literary fiction and also nonfiction, which is crazy to me because if you ask me even 
a year or so ago, I would never read nonfiction and now I just can't get enough of it. I went through this little book snob phase in high school where I would like only read classics. I thought they were like the only books that were worth reading. Don't ask me where I would get these crazy ideas from. Other than Hogwarts, if I could go to one fictional world, it would be The Night Circus from Aaron Morgenstern's book. It was one of those books where I just like genuinely felt sad after reading it because I knew it wasn't real and I would never get to see this place. I have done the Pottermore Sorting Hat quiz twice now and both times I got the same house so there seems to be absolutely no doubt that I am a Slytherin, which I am totally okay with. I love Slytherin. The only thing that makes me angry is that we get the shittiest common rooms. We are literally in the dungeons of the castle. I mean, I know we're a little bit evil, but we're not vampires. We might need sunlight every now and again. My absolute favorite place to read is actually in the bath. And so far there has only been one casualty for this. I'm very sorry, time traveler's wife. I have no idea why, but when I was younger, before I would start reading a book, I would always flip to the last page and read it like, that makes no sense. I guess I thought I was being some kind of rebel. I have an in real life book club that I've been going to for about three years now and we only read science fiction, paranormal, dystopian fantasy books and I absolutely love them. My most read author is actually Margaret Atwood because I am a good Canadian reader. I've read nine of her books and my favorites so far are The Rubber Bride and The Blind Assassin. I don't know why but I've only ever cried while reading books set during World War II. My favorite books that I've read so far in 2016 have been Burial Rites by Hannah Kent and 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I really love to listen to movie soundtracks while I read and one of my favorites is actually John Williams score from the movie Hook. I cannot explain my obsession with this movie and the music. It's basically just my childhood. Kind of embarrassing, but some of my favorite books when I was growing up were the Mary Kate and Ashley or the Full House type books. I was also completely obsessed with the Amelia Bedelia books and I remember at one point trying to collect them all. So that is it for all of the slightly random and bizarre bookish facts about me and I hope you guys enjoyed them and I would love to hear maybe just one of your weirdest bookish facts. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!